hanging out with Frank. Frank, it's great to see you back at PA this year. Good to see you back in Daytona. I love the uh, the threads, so I think I'm going to go the, the, the casual mode here too. Is that right? Right, uh, that's Florida style. As opposed to Reno the other years, we thought we go with a place. I, I think that works. I think it's a little bit more Hawaiian though. Well, you know, I'm from Germany, so Hawaii, Florida, it's kind of like all the same. <laughs> <laughs> the military guys in Florida are falling over with laughter right now. So Frank, what's new with you guys? Uh, training, training tools, um, all kind of civilian, military um, ratings, also basic stuff, just tandem and AFF for the fun of it. So you guys have quite a, tra a training program and lots of training tools. Mm -hmm. um, especially uh, like for the rucksack and cargo stuff with the military. Um, they keep messing up their expensive equipment like the uh, expensive rucksacks and uh, cargo boxes and those kind of things. So we thought of a, a cheaper way to do these type of training jumps. So I came up with those uh, actually recycled products. This is a, a recycled... It's it's a tire. Wow, that, I mean, it, feel, it feels like a tire. Right. It is a recycled rubber um, and um, a special resin mixture that glues the um, the shredded rubber together. And you have a variety of, um, like, on a given dimension, you can have a range of weight that you can achieve, or on a certain weight, you can have a certain dimension uh, range. Um, that way, you can have a block that uh, fits your personal bundle or your personal rucksack or your personal cargo box and um, um, if you hammer in one of these they're almost indestructible if you do the same with your crew box you have to replace an expensive piece of equipment well, and since, since it's rubber do we ever have to worry about you know landing first having it bouncing up creating problems for the jump there is um, uh, that little risk uh, to it um, if you keep it on the upper range of the weight for the dimension it's quite hard if uh, if you get it on the light end it might be a bit bouncy so uh, depending on the way you train it and you want um, the way you carry it, you have to maybe take care of that too. But the same applies to all your rucksacks and other bundles and cargo weights. Well, I always appreciate chatting with you and it seems like every year you've got a new training device or tool or, or method or something, so you're keeping up to date on all the training stuff. Right, yeah. I try to get a good mix here, so sometimes um, I'd rather do one over the other, um, like rather do a, an, another AFF instructor course and another tandem instructor course, so I keep current with all my training um, service. Well, we appreciate all the great stuff you're doing out there, and I uh, look forward to seeing you again. At, at least 2015. <laughs> at least. We'll catch you in the next booth.